Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of similar proportionality. This is standard 8.3a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 38 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have two similar quadrilaterals. We need to find a proportion that is true. Now that term similar is very important. We could visually see uh, that they look the same as in regards to their angles, just different sizes. Sometimes the similarity will have one of the shapes being rotated, but in this case they don't. They are oriented the same way. And so the similarity means that we have proportional sides. So that's one thing that we get from this, proportional sides. But this also means that we have uh, identical angles. So the angles stay the same. It's just the side lengths that just either shrink or grow. All right, so we're going to find a proportion here. And that means that we need to find a proportion that is either comparing uh, you know, side length to side length across those or uh, within those. So let's just take a look at each of these. Right, let's look at this y over 15. Okay, so this is going to be y over 15. So that's staying within the small, right? So I'm going to say uh, y over 15. Okay, that's uh, small over small. I'm calling this one the small one, this one's the large one, which is fine. So this y connects with that 28, right? So we would need the 28, that's the large. That's 28 is connected to that y, and that 15 is connected with that 22.5. That would work. But you see what they did? They swapped it. That 28 needs to be in the numerator, because that goes with the y. So uh, the right numbers, they just swapped that second one. So that was within the small to small. Let's see what we have for number two here, y over 28. Okay, so now they're going across, that's fine. So we're gonna go y over 28, so that's my small to large, and these two sides are uh, associated with each other, that's fine. So that just means the other one needs to have two sides associated with each other, and it needs to be small on the numerator, large in the denominator. So I've got my five, all right, that's fine. And that 5 goes with that x, but they have 5 goes with the 22.5. See, these, these two sides don't go together. So that's incorrect, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to evaluate each of these. 20 over 30. All right, so I've got small to large again, the base for each of those. 20 over 30, small to large. So that means over here, I need a small to large in order to make it a true proportion. And there we go. Look, I've got that 5 over x. That's what I was looking for earlier. That works. OK, so c looks good, which means we just need to verify that d is incorrect. So 15 over 20. All right, so 15 over 20 is within the small. So 15 over 20, that's small to small which just means I need something that's going to be large to over large. But I'm hoping not, because it looks like C is already the correct answer. So I've got my X. And, okay, so the X here goes with the 5. So I need that X to be 5. And look, they've got X with 30. Yeah, okay, so we've got X... To, no, that's large to large, so that is fine, but this x should be, yeah, 15 over 20. Yeah, that should be that 22 over 5 over 30. So this should be 22 over 5, because this right here goes with this, and that 20 goes with 30, and that would be, that would be better. So that's incorrect. The answer here is going to be C.